These Afghanistan National Army soldiers are growing in numbers. That means they need more barracks, dining facilities, training ranges, everything an army needs to defend a nation. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is helping make a difference in Afghanistan by managing the construction of installations, border police facilities, and various other projects. This is providing jobs which leads to economic and physical security in a country that has suffered through three decades of war. When the water level dropped down, it fired back up. Charlie Bechtold is a professional civil engineer with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Afghanistan Engineer District North, based in Kabul. His job is critical in the Corps' mission to build quality facilities for the Afghanistan National Security Forces. He and Corps of Engineers field technicians meet regularly on job sites scattered in and around Kabul to ensure that buildings are constructed on schedule and built to standard. This medical facility, for example, will ensure that these Afghanistan National Army doctors and medics can do their missions in a well-functioning and highly secure facility. The better built the facility, the more the Afghans can focus on national security. For Bechtold, it's an opportunity to use all of his engineering skills and being able to handle multiple projects that enhance his professional experience. Every time we do a project, it's like a small little town. We're developing wells, we have a wastewater treatment facility, we're doing power plants, roads, infrastructure, for all these small little bases and garrisons that this is experience you, you do not get back in the States, you can apply it while you're here in country. If you're considering volunteering your time with the Afghanistan Engineer District North, you decide what's best for yourself. You can deploy for a 6, 12, or up to 24-month deployment. As a member of AED North, you become something that's a fundamental part of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' mission, nation building. Chief of Engineers of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Lieutenant General Robert Van Antwerp, encourages qualified people to consider an overseas stint with the world's premier engineering organization. Well, there's a couple of reasons you'd want to come. Number one, I think, is it's a wonderful family over here. When you eat three meals together, you work the, the kind of hours together they do here, you come away with this as saying, well, I am part of a wonderful family. Number two, you come here because it's making a difference. It's, got, it's, a, it's a mission with a purpose. And you just have to go out where I've been the last three or four days to see that purpose. The next thing is that I think there is an adrenaline rush that you get from having an assignment where in a very short period of time, you've got to deliver all the way from through the design to the product on the ground to the O&M after that. So there's that kind of flash to bang, I guess you could say. When you arrive in Afghanistan, you hit the ground running, whether it's at the district's headquarters in Kabul or at a forward operating base in outlying areas. You're provided with state-of-the-art equipment and your skills become greatly enhanced by a challenging and demanding work schedule. Afghanistan is a large country and needs as much help as possible from your specialized skill sets and the pace and intensity of numerous projects can only bolster your resume. I think there is that, that element of professional competence that be, can be gained when you're over here. When you are executing one and two levels above what you might have been doing at home where you will learn more in, uh, in six to twelve months than you might learn in ten years uh, back home because you're going to be working night and day, fo totally focused on one single thing, that truly will make you an expert. And so those that want to come over here, become an expert in their field, learn new skills, learn what it's like inside the arena, and truly make a difference, I think that's what you'll get. But I also think there is, uh, you know, things that will incentivize people um, like, uh, uh, you know, financial. We'll look to, to try to make it worth your while. If you're an adventurous type, there's no shortage of exciting work. At Forward Operating Bases, or FOBs, you work closely with Afghan contractors and their staffs. You'll also rub shoulders with U.S. service members and contract security guards who have your back. Quality assurance inspections at construction sites are common, and there's opportunity to train and mentor Afghan engineers and laborers. We want the Afghans to build their buildings for their country to support their infrastructure. So it's twofold. We're trying to build a facility to enable uh, the country development, but we're also training the local talent, the local skilled labor, so that they can be more successful and actually export their own construction services to the rest of their country. Personal growth is something that is measured by each and every person who deploys to Afghanistan. 
You can take the opportunity to beef up your resume and feel that you've made a difference in the world. Bechtold has a newly found sense of purpose and the experience has opened many doors for himself. It's quite a thrill to go outside the wire and see new sites, see the, the way that people are engaging in daily life that uh, we'll, never, we'll only see on National Geographic. We will not see what their type of lifestyle is. And to see it firsthand and interact with the people is priceless. You can get fairly close to the Afghan culture on your off time. Afghan vendors offer their goods for sale at an on-base bazaar that happens on Fridays. Meals are served on AED North's Kala House compound at the newly opened Colonel John B. O'Dowd dining facility where you'll get three squares a day in a relaxed atmosphere. And if you need a workout after a meal, there's a top-notch gymnasium complete with weights, treadmills, and there are spin classes held just about every night. If singing's your thing, try an evening of karaoke. AED North is looking for the right people for demanding work. The work is intense, but the benefits are worthwhile. I'm looking for people who are willing to take on that kind of challenge. Uh, I'd like uh, to see aggressive uh, people, you know, that embrace this mindset to me, which is be offensive. Get in there, get in the arena, and be willing to do whatever it takes to accomplish the mission. Uh, mission focused, uh, and, uh, you know, people that are about uh, relationships, who work well as part of a team, and uh, who certainly can work well as part of this uh, culture that is unique here in AED North that is about get her done, making a difference, uh, having fun, and uh, if, if, if someone is of that caliber, we'll take them. Nation building is history in the making. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is making its mark on history by providing Afghanistan quality facilities, mentoring, and genuine concern for the Afghan people. One of our metrics is make a unique positive contribution to our nation and other nations. This is where that gets fulfilled, right here. And I think when it's all said and done and the history's written, we're going to have quality facilities here that is going to make a difference for the long term both in the Afghan National Forces, but also in the leadership, the ministries, and those people that we work with on water, electricity, rail, road, all those things. So, exciting place to be.